Hi friends, this is Sheshanan from Aerotech Solutions. I just want to give a one application explanation which is obstacle detection robot using 8051 microcontroller. So I'll introduce myself. So you're from Aerotech Solutions which is located in Hyderabad. So if you want so if you are looking for more technical videos on microcontrollers because you have continuation videos upload with this channel name Heretic Solutions from YouTube and you can follow us even Facebook. So I just want to give a simple application explanation which is obstacle detection robot using microcontroller. So generally the application view is very clear and here I just represented application blocks which is power supply unit and IR sensor unit. So this sensor module which helps to sense the obstacle whenever robo is moving. And microcontroller is one microcontroller you need to choose for this application. So now I am working with H051 which is popularly used in all academic level. And then the display part, I am just using on 16 cross to LCD. So which helps to notice that what's happening with the system or what's happening with the application. You can display the status, the obstacle detected or robo is moving, all those information. You can display whatever text you want on this screen. And buzzer will alert us something is some obstacles are present in front of the robot. Whenever your robo finds an obstacle, the robo will stop and it starts giving buzzer. And once you remove the buzzer, again it keeps on moving. And I am taking one driver unit here. This driver unit will help to drive the motors because motors will have different characteristics with high voltage and high current rating. So that you need to use one driver unit between microcontroller and motors. And here, this is the circuit diagram of this application. Here, you have sensor module unit and microcontroller and LCD screen. So I just want to give the complete explanation where I connected my LCD control lines and data lines and driver IC input lines with the IOs and output lines with the motors and buzzer. So this circuit diagram, you can go with your own connections also. There is no issue with GP IOs. You can connect with any IO port, whatever you want. Now, so coming to this, coming to this application, so I'll open the source code of this, which is already prepared in Keel Microvision. And you should know the steps you have to follow to open your project. So this is the source code. So now it's a very clear. So I need to define where I am connecting LCD control lines which are connected with RS, RW enable and the other connections which are required for motor inputs. So I just given connections across P3.0, 3.1, 3.2, 3.3 and the other peripherals sensor and buzzer where I just connected across P1.0 and P1.1 pins. So these are all my hardware connections with the microcontroller unit. And next I'm taking some user defined functions which are required to deal with LCD screen. So I'm taking different functions here, one for LCD data. Because I need to pass character by character to LCD screen. I cannot pass at a time one string. So that I'm using one user defined function with argument character. And commands also one byte size so that I'm taking character. 
and the text whatever you want you can pass it through this LCD display function name and one initialization function is required so whenever I'm using this initialization it allows to pass the basic commands because LCD deals with some basic commands which for making cursor movement right making cursor movement left and to move the cursor from left to right all those things for that you need some commands and deciding the line of LCD screen all those now so delay is required between enable high to low so that I am taking one user defined delay function from here main logic will start the initial status of motors is very clear so that I am assigning logic 0 so that all are keeps off and then I am calling this LCD initialization function. So come to this LCD initialization function. So which comes with standard commands. 38 for making activating all the crystals. And moving cursor right. And displaying on display on cursor off. And 80 for first line first position. So just observe this command function description here. So whatever the argument you are passing from LCD initialization function which is given to P2 because all data lines which are connected with port 2 from the hardware. While passing command we have to take, take care of this control pins logics whereas RS logic is 0, RW logic is 0 and enable pin high to low. So this is how your command function will execute it every time whenever you are calling from main program. After initialization, I am giving the basic message on screen, which is obstacle detection in the first line. And the cursor doesn't come directly to second line. Even for that, you have to pass the command C0. And then in the second line, I am expecting message robot. So this is for just displaying my title of the application as obstacle detection robot. And it allows to hold some time because of this delay. So now this is the infinite loop I am entering here. So I had to clear this previous message whatever I displayed on screen because I have to display the status of robot. So I just given the message robot is moving. But according to your text display you have to change your motors inputs logics. So that the positive lines inputs as making 1 and negative line inputs as zeros so that your Morogo will move forward direction and buzzer state is off. This is the initial response I am expecting from the robot. So now I am writing condition here based on my sensor logic you have to take proper action whenever sensor got logic 1 because by default if there is no obstacle in front of the robot the logic remains 0 but whenever you are placing any obstacle in front of sensor module then logic will become 1 whenever your logic becomes 1 then I have to change my logics of motor inputs as zeros and I need to buzz the buzzer so that I am changing my motor inputs logics as zeros and buzzer logic as 1 as well I am changing even screen message I am going to clear the previous message on screen by passing this 0 1 command and the display should be obstacle detected. So here I have to wait until remove the obstacle. So you can go with the different options even come back whenever obstacle detected and you can turn take left and you can try right. These are different programmings you can apply on the same application. So you can watch this the predefined function user defined functions description here. The display function whenever you are taking string so this will be your string pointer I defined as argument so that will save it in S so this for loop which will ends whenever you reach null character you know basically the string ends with null character backslash zero so that I am comparing with slash zero here and the for loop will continues until this strings reach null character so each time I am passing one argument through this LCD dat function x of w so that one character which is assigned every time to the port but while passing this character you have to take care of this control pin logic or logic is 1 and rw remains 0 anyway enable high low 
every character passing you have to make sure enable height and delay function so in just some uh, user defined value I'm taking here approximately some 3000 this is the complete program which is for obstacle detection robot now so let's see the simulation output on this application so this is my produce file so you already designed this this file with all the components you can watch all the components here which is higher sensor module and buzzer and microcontroller which is 40 pin and LCD screen and driver IC as per block diagram and motors so I need to check whether the file is linked with or not yes so this is a program file option you have to create hex file for your equivalent embedded C program and you have to link with this simulation tool now you can play this So this is the text which is displaying on screen obstacle detection robot and robot is moving now you can observe the movement of motors which are rotating forward direction see this is the test pin here if you change logic one until it remains zero no change from the motors but whenever you are changing your logic to one then your motors will stop and it changes text screen as obstacle detection and again you're changing your logic because this is simulation if you have hardware then you can place in front of this photo diode and IR transmitter you can place one object again I'm changing my logic to zero next you can watch you can find changes on this screen again robo is moving and again motors will start so this is the application you can develop in your own way just as a hobby projects or any mini projects or you can do your own experiments on microcontrollers by just gathering this all individual components so this is your simple application on this Okay, as per same circuit and if anyone is looking for all projects and training we are providing online classroom all different levels of training with industry experts okay you can get back with this contact number 9676327 and if you want to reach personally your office just follow this address we are located near KPHP metro station Kukatpalli and if you have any queries and applications so we will do even commercial projects so if you are with very economical way okay you can get back us with any requirement regarding embedded training and placement and projects and online training services thanks for watching